What is going on guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a solo farm run for flame cores. We are of course are going to be talking about the Atullus Foundry. So we'll show you the location. So south of Brimstone you're going to see the Deadwater Way Teleport. You're going to run down from here down to Atullus Foundry. You want to set a camp up. Obviously I just did this Atullus Foundry right there. And this is where we're going to be farming for flame cores. Uh, I usually net around 5 to 10. I've gotten 10 before but that's rare as hell. Normally I would say I'd average about seven. I think on this run I get like five or six. So we're gonna be farming for flame cores and really all you need to do this um, is you're gonna want a tower shield with sturdy on it, preferably, which you can just grab a one perker off the market for super cheap. And you're gonna to wanna to run as much con as you can. <clears throat> so obviously I have 285 right now. Um, if you can bump it up to 300, the better. I mean, the more the merrier. We're not gonna be attacking anything. So the more con you can get, the better off. The last thing you can also do to help would be our two things actually. So you could also run uh, Defender's Resolve, which gives you increased speed and it gives you a little self heal. Um, you could also run like a uh, a life staff if you're. Oh, I wouldn't really want to run a life staff. Just run Sword and Shield. It'll be a lot easier. And just take res Defender's Resolve for a little extra heal. I don't use it because I don't. I've done this so many times. I don't really need it. And the other thing you're gonna want is you're gonna want some. Uh, Strong gemstone dust, specifically some gemstone dust, just to help with the uh, ice attacks that are going to be hitting you. So, gemstone dust, healing pots, obviously, sword and shield with the tower shield. And uh, let's just jump right into this run and show you guys how this works. One last thing, guys, while we're talking about it. There's one other thing you need to remember when you're doing this kind of run, and it's actually specifically revolved around the mobs themselves. So let's use Bobiz as our example. So look where Bobiz's name is and you see the 69 underneath. So right underneath the enemy's name, the mob's name, you're going to see retreating pop up. Once you see that pop on most of the mobs or all the mobs hopefully retreating, that's when you can actually jump off of your barrel, crate, bed, wherever you are and go to the box to pick up your stuff. Look for that notation. You're going to see retreating below their name and that's what you're going to look out for. 